Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this week's tutorial I will show you step by step how to edit and how to customize your product page on your Wix website. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now the first thing you want to do is to actually go over to the Wix editor. And once you're in the editor of your website, you want to go over to the page selector, click on the drop down menu and then you want to go over to store pages and click on product page. You'll then be sent over to the general product page for all of your products. So no matter which product people click on, this is the basic page layout. Now as you can see I have added my related products right here. This will increase the average order value so if you're interested in learning more about how to do this, make sure to watch the video in the top right corner and after you've set up your related products, please come back to this video so you can customize your product page even more. Now obviously you have the product page element of your website, so click on manage products and you can then manage all of the products on your shop. It will take quite some while to load and for me it says money NFT example and another money NFT example. You can also browse collections right here, for me I have only set up my sale collection and you probably will all know how to add a new product so I'm not going over that. Now what you want to do is to maybe even click on settings. And right here you will be able to customize the page even more to change things about the layout. So you might like the classic already, but maybe you're more of a sleek guy or the stunning one. There's really a lot of options to choose from. In this case, if you use the sleek um, layout, it will zoom in on the picture even more. So you might want to consider that with the product pictures. The same goes for stunning and you can basically just customize a lot about this page. Spotlight is also pretty cool and the last and final one you have is simple. So I will just leave it at classic because I think that looks best. And you can also enable the stretch to fill with feature. Yeah, you can see that the um, product page gets even bigger so I'm going to turn that off. And there's of course also the show thumbnails so as dots or bottoms. This is really interesting because if you do have multiple product pictures using the bottom one it does look really professional to me. Because you can just click on a picture below the main product picture and you will get sent over to the, yeah, the bottom picture, so the picture you clicked on. How is the image resized, cropped or fit? This is basically something you can choose as well if you don't have multiple product pictures that are, you know, fitting in the wider product picture. Then you have settings where there's a lot of settings to customize as well. I won't go over all of this because most of this is pretty self-explanatory. If you'd like to have the show button as well, so the buy now button I mean, you might want to click on show button and then the buy now button will appear. Change automatically by payment method is also pretty smart. Show customers the best payment methods for them from the methods you have added based on location, payment history and more. Example, PayPal button. Now I will just turn this off. And in most cases you might want to disable the display share icons because no one actually shares a product. And it does really take away from the professionality of your website. Now with Next you can also customize all of the text. So maybe in another language or you would just like to give it more of a personal touch. You can change everything right here. Then you have the wishlist which you could add. However I'm not going to. Now the wishlist lets store members save their favorite products. You can customize the wishlist page in the members area. For whatever reason my brain finds this sentence a tone breaker. So hopefully you don't mind that. Now you have the background and borders, product details, buttons, info sections and subscriptions as well. So for example you might want to change the background opacity and color to a little bit more of a dark color. It is however pretty ugly because it doesn't take the whole background of the website but only the part which is the product page. And as you can see that's only this square right here. So I'll go over and remove the background really quickly because this is pretty ugly. And that's basically how to customize your product page. Like I said, if you want to learn how to add related products and increase the average order value of your customers, make sure to watch this video in the top right. Also leave a comment, so let me know if this worked for you in the comments down below. Feel free to leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing for more straightforward Wix tutorials. 